Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Trey and I want to talk about Sasha Kelly again because there's rumors that she's going to be playing Supergirl, but she's going to be playing the daughter of Superman. So she'll be, I guess, Henry Cavill's daughter because there's a photo of her uh, with her hair cut in black. And I was like, Superman's daughter, the only daughter that Superman has that has black hair that is like an actual canon thing is Sorrel. So if any of you guys know, Sorrel, um, aka Mia, was an alternate, well, an alternate future daughter that Superman had from the Future Smith timeline. Um she's basically genetically modified to be superman's um daughter but she carries um a virus that will affect superman that will send him down this dark path to destroy the future or whatever and stuff like that but she doesn't know that she's a carrier of the virus or whatever stuff like that it's kind of like a time paradox kind of thing but yeah i mean if any of you guys know about sorrel that you know she was um created um by Brainiac 12 and used the genetic material of I believe a human girl and Superman and stuff like that but her DNA is kind of spliced where you know it becomes the fact that she is the daughter of Superman and Lois Lane I you know comic books is 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 all that is so she's basically a human Kryptonian hybrid and I thought about it I was like Okay, now that I saw the photo of Sasha Cowley, I'm like, yeah, she actually can pull off being, you know, this alternate reality daughter of Superman where, you know, at the end, she kind of has to sacrifice herself to, you know, stop the future or whatever. And if they're doing this with the Flash, you can bring in that kind of thing where Mia kind of has to sacrifice herself to make sure that Barry mission goes well and that this crazy future because i believe that he's gonna he's gonna screw up the timeline and it's gonna be some future crap never happens or whatever because that's really kind of how her mission kind of ended with her giving up her her life to stop to prevent the future smith timeline from ever happening and i think that could be that could be pretty cool i mean if Shlasha Callie plays that character that's fine but as long as you know as long as she's not named kara we're fine you know because that's the that's a actually that's a good idea though because a lot of people don't know much about Sorrel and since she is genetically modified she technically can look like another person I mean she can be another you know diverse person since she is kind of genetically modified to to still be the daughter of Superman so you can actually have Sasha Cali as Sorrel so I, I mean I don't know I'm I think it's pretty interesting you know that they decided that they wanted um that she might be she might be the future daughter of Superman and stuff like that because you know we do know that Lois Lane is pregnant in uh the Justice League in the DCEU you know she uh, she's pregnant and it's kind of like now that she now that Superman's back and stuff like that they can have their family but, you know, they can also, when Superman died, um, you know, Brainiac could have been behind the scenes getting genetic material or whatever, stuff like that, um, which I heard that Zack Snyder was um, going to be doing, wanted to do Man of Steel 2, where they do face off with Brainiac. So it would make sense where he was, he was in the shadows getting material from Superman and then genetically modifying th this girl and you know she happened to kind of escape and kind of do it did her own thing or whatever and stuff like that and so the flash ran into her on his adventures through or for the whole flashpoint movie thing or whatever and then towards the end she you know you know discovers the truth or whatever about herself or whatever and how you know she wanted to meet her father but she knows that if she meets her father it will create a, a catastrophe or whatever and stuff like that kind of prevent another dark timeline besides the nightmare timeline that I know Zach wanted to do for Justice League. So it'll be kind of interesting if you ask me. I mean, that could work. That definitely worked more so than 
her being Kara, um, Kara, you know, Kara Zor-El. And I rather, I rather that idea because then you can, you can kind of, you know, make her a diverse char character because she is a genetically modified child of Superman. So why not? Why, why not go that route? But I think that'll probably be way interesting than oh yeah let's you know race swap Kara Kent because like I said if you guys see my previous video um where she could also be Matrix as well um a protoplasma you know um a protoplasma form that you know takes the sh that shapeshift in the form of a girl with blonde hair and she's expired by Superman and kind of uh, unofficially I mean, officially becomes his adoptive sister, and she she's Matrix Supergirl, so that could have worked too as well. Where you know, towards the end of the movie and stuff like that, her body's breaking apart or whatever, and you know, in the commotions, this this young girl, um, Linda Danvers, gets injured or whatever and stuff like that, and she merges with that little girl. I mean, that girl, and she becomes the new Supergirl or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Before they, before they reintroduce Kara zor -El. So that way you can kind of still have Supergirl without having Kara. And then you just bring in Linda Danvers. You have Linda Danvers as the stand-in Supergirl until we get Kara zor -El. You see what I'm saying? You see how I'm giving y'all a little bit of idea right there? You see how I'm giving you a little idea? So that way you can kind of still stay semi true to the characters without insulting the fans and with an unnecessary race change you know what i'm saying so let's let's try to do that even though i know this whole thing with um sorrel might be out of order hey if we can go back and you know rewrite it like i like i said and stuff like that and make make sure we you know do some stuff correctly with this i think we got a good i think we got a good shot at it and stuff like that you know um i would want to see her wear her iconic you know thingy what they can do is they can make they can take that s shield uh, from the man of steel or whatever but um get rid of the shield crest and just take that x that s and texturize it on a black a black bikini suit and stuff like that because she she wears a bikini suit with a long blue um cape with black gloves and black boots um, black high heel boots it's not that hard um it's okay to sh for the women to show skin if wonder woman can show some some somebody she can show somebody like let's 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 not try to cover it cover her up because i was seeing people trying to cover cover the character up when they did their photoshop versions of the character no supergirl doesn't need to be covered up that's why supergirl cw um what season five had dropped off ratings anyway even though you know there was a lot of woke stuff i remember a lot of people was like when they was watching it they when they saw that supergirl was getting a new suit a lot of people were just like no no they're out because i mean it, it's ugly it's ugly it didn't look right it looked like trash on on uh, Melissa Benoit's. Like it, you took away her feminine quality of her being Supergirl. You, I don't need her wearing the same costume as her cousin. Just fit good because if it's a woman, like no, I'm sorry. At least that girl's costume is is still distinguished from her cousin. I mean, from um from Bruce Wayne. But you know this one right here with Supergirl. What she need? What she need to cover up for? She's literally the girl of steel. Make it make sense, people. <laughs> like, you know, but I, 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 I know, I know, I know. You know, I'm just rambling. But I just thought that was kind of a good idea. But maybe, maybe it might happen. I think it should happen. You know, tell me what you guys think in the comment section below, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.